I'm going to go to the gym to run. I know it's ridiculous, I, uh, yeah. We kicked off the day by going to Wen Wu Temple and my shirt was um, actually really really bright. That's our hotel and you can see my shirt like because it's bright pink it's right there. <laughs> the temple is actually really big contrary to what can be seen from the entrance so we took our time and walked around the entire temple. the temple we took a short bus ride to the port or like some jetty thing I'm not very sure what? and explored the town surrounding the jetty I got to try Tian Ren's bubble tea and it was alright but it was my first cup of bubble tea in Taiwan so I just went mmm very nice with my cup of bubble tea and the 100% chance of me puking um, we proceeded to the Sun Moon Lake ropeway it was really fun I love cable car rides but I wished the cabin had a transparent floor because it's more exciting and I oop After we alighted from the cable car, we walked into One, the Formosan two, Aboriginal two, Culture two, Village, two. also known as Jiuzhu Wenhua Chun. We had terrible ramen, I'm sorry, and then watched their cultural performance. And not to disrespect their culture, but I really couldn't stand the fact that they look like swan date. <laughs> I do Chinese dance as like my co-curricular activity so it's really interesting to see like another ethnic dance. After the performance, we decided to explore the village further so as to not waste the money we spent on the ticket. So we had this comedic lady making glass beads from scratch. And guess what, I can stand straight in here. Also, we did some traditional games like spinning tops and this reading competition me and my friends had with our dads. After that, we fed Koi and Sis. I somehow found myself in the theme park. Context again. The last time I went to a theme park when I was not really a theme park, maybe USS, um, was when I was seven and I got traumatized by the roller coaster. Future air stewardess. <laughs> now I'm like absolutely terrified of any rides. Like, just throw me into a canal right now. Yes, all these are baby rides and I'm still scared so don't call me a p and yes, I admit I have no balls for this type of things but it was fun screaming my lungs out. It cured my sore throat after this day. Obviously, my favourite ride of all time is this Jurassic Cruise and yeah, the enclosed area also smells Jurassic so you can go check it out. After an eventful day, we returned to the hotel with this amazing sunset. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. 
like the cool blue light. We also decided to check out the kids' play area, which, um, not gonna lie, we were pretty interested in. So after dinner, our dreams came true and we actually went onto the children's playground. I woke up and realised that my bangs were standing straight up and I don't know why. We went to rock climb because the hotel provided this activity and it was really cool. Always, now is the time to bid goodbye to Sun Moon Lake. The hotel was so nice. Now we are headed to Alishan. So we boarded the bus and I KO'd. So I don't know what happened. Except for the fact I woke up with drool on my shirt and we arrived at a restaurant. We ate this restaurant which is like chicken dishes. I'm not very sure. But um, honestly, I didn't personally like the food. So. We stopped by this um, little rest stop before we embarked on the windy journey up to Alishan. And so we walked across this bridge, which is some like love bridge or something. I got some Aureos, and then yeah, we just headed up. We arrived at a small district and explored a little bit. Here we got some food from a bento shop, which is below the 7-Eleven if you ever come here. We also saw this um, train station and there was a little cat that um, unfortunately ran away from me after I took the video. Most of the shops there were actually closed but I got some like croissant donut things from this store and it was amazing. This B&B and it had this like really homey feel and I loved it. Entrance. Wow, there's an entire dining table. Hi, say hi. What is this called? There's two bedrooms. Wow. I think it's the same configuration. Then here is the bathroom that I always show for some reason. Yo, oh my god. Oh. Toilet. Toilet number two! Shower! Oh my goodness! It's so big! We washed up, ate our dinner, and then went to bed. So, I haven't woken up this early in months. But it was totally worth it because the sunrise was so beautiful. And... Uh, <laughs> We had a homely breakfast that was provided by the B&B and it was totally vegetarian I think but it was so... It, it was... Oh my god, it was so good. So it took about an hour from our hotel to the Alishan station. So we just um, chilled in the bus hoping not to puke. At the Alishan Forest Railway Station, we decided to walk up a trail. So it was pretty dope. It's Gail. Gail. <laughs> 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 
sister pond. The big sister pond. After walking for about like 1.5 hours, we decided to have our lunch at this um, little rest stop and I had pian tang again. After lunch, we continued hiking and we continue hiking to see the various like things they have, like some sacred trees and stuff. So thick. arrived back to the station and I saw this and it's called Yunhai or the Sea of Clouds. <laughs> One thing's for sure when you come to Taiwan is to check out their 7-Eleven because look at this, look at that, um, the bubble tea was not bad and the hot pot the tea Save looked really the good, I didn't try it but it looked really good. Also, did you know you can actually see cherry blossoms in Taiwan if you come at the right time? This okay. is obviously not the right time. When we arrived back to our hotel, I was like absolutely jaw dropped because I have never seen like a uh, Yunhai or like the Sea of Clouds before, and this was absolutely amazing. Like, it was so interesting to me scientifically Nothing and much, aesthetically. Yeah. <laughs> I sat at the window for like maybe a good one hour observing the Yun Hai and the sunset and it was oh, it was the best like one hour of my life. After that, we had our dinner at a nearby restaurant recommended by the b and owner. Okay, it's like 9 now. I'm going to sleep because we are going to go catch the sunrise tomorrow and we have to wake up at like ungodly hours. So, good night. Long story short, uh, well, there wasn't a sunrise because there were too many clouds. Also, because there wasn't like the right pressure conditions or something. Went back to the B&B sadly and just ate our breakfast sadly. But after that, um, the B&B owner decided to take us on a tour of his tea plantation and yeah, they are so friendly. <laughs> After that, we had to pack and leave Alishan. Hands down, the best place, I guess. It's wow, it's just beautiful. La. We stopped over at a rest stop to have our lunch. I had bingo babias and also some coffee. And then we headed to Taiping. 
Yeah, so by the time we reached, the sun was already setting. So we settled down and went to see my thing for food and shopping. Okay, our room. A uh, very small bathtub. Then, normal things. Three beds. And... Uh, uh, nice city view. Sadly, it was raining so we had to wrap ourselves up like some cocoon. But like, we still went to Simon Ting anyway. Simon Ting is really damn haps for. It's like, yeah, it's really interesting. I love the atmosphere there. <laughs> for walking into Simon Ting, we saw this long line and I just queued up for it. Then I realized it was the very, very pops brown sugar pearl fresh milk from Sing Fu Tang. And yeah, it was dope. My parents went to this homely restaurant while I went to have some pops noodles. You also know it's me and Sin. Damn it, me and Sin get on my spoon! <laughs> Run away, do 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 do.